Yo, what's up? G1SLGP, aka Great One Speaks, reminding you to stay greasy, finesse. What is going on? What is happening? Now, look, guys, I got a very interesting video for you today. I want to title this The Top Five Secret Things in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 That They Don't Want You to Know About Aiming. No further ado, we're going to jump right into it. Let's get it. Yo, you feel the Let's get right to it. So number five would be run gung ho. Now, reason why I say run gung ho because it allows you to come out of sprint faster and aim down sights out of sprint faster. You definitely need that because this game is kind of sort of like Call of Duty World War II in the first part of its life cycle when you will run and you will sprint, you will come out of sprint and recover out of sprint a lot slower without the perks that you needed. So this particular perk, I would definitely say you use on every class. You will come out of sprint way faster. You will be able to aim down sights way faster because it, it doesn't even matter if you're running a gun or if you're sitting back and you lay back. These You have guys that pop out of corners. You have guys that sitting in surprising places. So to be able to run out of sprint and come out of sprint faster and be able to ready up out of sprint faster is a plus. Also, it allows you to run and reload and throw equipment while you're running so that that's another plus at that but i like the fact that you could come out of sprint a lot faster and aim down sights a lot faster with gung-ho and uh it, it'll just help your gameplay a lot more better as far as aiming is concerned now number four we're going to jump to number four which is centering your aim around corners i cannot tell you how much of an uh, this is so important excuse me you have to center your aim around corners. What do I mean? You have to know where your crosshairs land because a lot of guys are sitting, a lot of guys are sitting on head glitches. A lot of guys are sitting around corners, sitting in dark corners that you cannot see. And if you center your aim around where somebody might be, you'll be able to get that first shot off or be able to win that gunfight, that engagement way quicker than if you don't center your aim around them corners and ready up around them corners where you center your aim because a lot of people want to tell you that uh you know pre-aiming or pre-firing is a, a bad thing anything of that nature no it's not because this game is a twitch shooter so you have to be ready for gunfights at any second any minute so when you center your aim and what i mean about city aim and core they have a crosshair in the middle of the map it's always there and hardcore i play hardcore they don't have a crosshair but i memorize with iron sights where my aim is gonna land so what i do i try to keep my aim generally in a population where i know an enemy could possibly come so i try to keep it as tight as possible so when i aim when i ads my aim goes straight to where my crosshair lands at so you want to kind of center it where you think an enemy is going to be at all times you want to keep it in the middle when you're running up but then you want to center it where you think an enemy may be this will help you with your aim around corners and, and and just in difficult places to to target enemies and we're gonna skip to number three which is one of the most important things is sensitivity guys sensitivity you have to know what sensitivity works for you it's not a one all cure all thing your sensitivity may work for you and may be different than my sensitivity and it all depends really it all depends on eye and hand coordination if your eye and hand coordination is really good you might want to play with a higher sensitivity if your high eye and hand coordination is pretty bad you might want to play with a low sensitivity but you got to know what sensitivity is yours my sensitivity 8 through 11. i would not tell you to copy my sensitivity because that's my sensitivity your sensitivity may be six or either seven it, it all depends on what play style you're playing now i'm gonna give you a tip in hardcore you always want to play with around an eight to a nine to a seven now you figure that out for yourself because you at least that's at the least because in hardcore it only takes one to two maybe three shots at the longest to kill somebody so you want to always be having your aim uh your sensitivity excuse me ready to go perfectly so you can hit that first shot the first shot is key especially in hardcore the first shot is very very key all right so we're going to move on to number two number two and i tell people this every time i play with them is before you start your day on call of duty 
before you start your day and you jump into a match, you want to go to a custom game practice match. This is very, very key to honing in your aim, to warming up your shot, to getting ready to face tryhards on the game, okay? What I mean by custom game practice match, I mean you want to go into a custom game, set the bots on regular. Do not set them on recruit. Set them on regular so you can get a gist of a normal game that you might play. Um, and practice centering your aim with the crosshair. Practice centering your aim. Practice aiming around corners. Practice aiming around head glitches. Practice aiming on head glitches. Really, honestly, you really, really want to practice aiming at head glitches. That's the main thing that you want to practice because that is a big troublesome area. Is having a big old block and a little teeny head you have to hit. You really have to practice aiming over them head glitches and actually centering your aim and practicing aiming over the head glitches will help you win those gunfights when you come up against people who like to sit on the head glitch, which is really not a head glitch, but sit on a corner or cover, sit behind cover and take cover. Um, so that's what you want to do. You can set it up in a custom game as what you want. You want to play domination. You want to play TDM, whatever. It doesn't even matter. That's not the point. The point is to get your aim as good as possible to hit that first shot. Your first shot is key. Once you hit your first shot and you get that hit marker, you, f you can feel the rest of the shot coming. What I mean is once you get that first hit marker, now you're locked on. Now you're locked on. Another thing, another thing that you want to do also is muscle memory for the brain just as well as the hands. You want to have muscle memory for the brain. What I mean is you want to program yourself to soon as you see anybody walk across your screen, anybody come across your way that is an enemy, soon as you see the red lights on their clothing, soon as you see red names, whatever, you shoot you aim and you shoot so this is very important to learn how to aim your to learn how to uh, drop your first shot on a person and then aim when they come in so now you're just snapping on guys and you're shooting you're getting your first bullet off on this person you're locking in your aim and every time you see a person your mind is oh i gotta shoot them okay so this, that's a good game good thing for custom game practice excuse me now we're gonna go to number one and this is the most important thing is to play to your gun's advantage. What do I mean? I mean, we have levels to the guns, which is LMGs, long range, our ARs, mid range, submachine guns, close range. And ARs are dominating the game right now. So if you're playing with an AR, you got to play a little bit slower, play mid range. Don't try not to get into close engagements with these guns. And I promise you, your aim will be like a laser. This is G1SLGP signing out, telling you to stay greasy and finesseful, and also don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and also don't forget to hit that notification bell button, man, and remember, a sub gets you a waffle, real talk, I'm signing out, have a good day, peace.